Hi everybody, Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Hi everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna show you how we are going to create a patriotic wreath. This wreath we will be taking to um, the cemetery for my grandfather's headstone. And um, we hope you guys will follow along and see how this is created. We hope everyone is having a blessed and very safe Memorial Day weekend. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so for this patriotic Memorial Day wreath, we are going to be using one of these wire wreath work forms from the Dollar Tree. We're going to be using some red pipe cleaner, Dollar Tree. Oops. We're going to be using um, this red, white, and blue uh, deco mesh. This is also from the Dollar Tree. Five rolls. This is six inches by four yards, and we got five rolls of this. We got three bundles of these red carnations three bundles of the white carnations. We have five bundles of these red, white, and blue carnations. And we got four bundles of these fun daisies. I've got some wire cutters. We got some wire just in case. We may also be using some zip ties. And we'll let you know as we move along with that. We picked this little decorative piece up at the Dollar Tree also, and we may use this in the center of our wreath. And we have a few other embellishments that we will show you as we go along, depending on what we decide to use. So what we're doing is rolling the deco mesh out and we're cutting them in 22 inch strips. And then we are going to show you the ruffle technique that we're going to do. And we will be uh, tying that off with a pipe cleaner. Okay, so for the ruffle technique, you're just going to take your 22 inch strip and begin gathering it down the middle like mom is here. and it's gonna give you this cute ruffled look and she's gonna secure that with a pipe cleaner. Give it a couple twists. And then we will use the pipe cleaner to secure those to the work wreath form. So we are going to continue this process. We got five 22 inch strips out of one roll. So we're gonna create about 25 of these bundles and then we will come back and show you the next step. Okay guys, so I am going to show you how we are attaching our ruffles to the work wreath and how we are putting these little floral bundles together. So this one's already put together and as you can see, we've taken three flowers and we've zip tied them together with our zip tie. And what we've done before we've uh, tightened it is we've made sure that we have a pipe cleaner in here because the pipe cleaner is how we are going to adhere these little floral bundles to the wreath form. So I'm gonna quickly show you how we put one of these together. And then I'm gonna show you how things are coming along um, with placement on the wreath. We are just kind of winging it and playing it by ear. We wanted to, this is going to the cemetery um, for my grandfather's um, headstone. And uh, we wanted to use items that would weather well and be able to reuse this wreath. We want to be able to use it for Memorial Day, we want to be able to use it for the 4th of July, which is his birthday. And we also want to use it on Labor Day. And then the rest of the holidays, we usually always take fresh flowers up with us. So let me show you how to put one of these little bundles together and then we'll take a look at how we're placing these on the wreath form. 
So I have cut the carnations off of the bouquet and I've left about a two inch stem on each one of them and these will be cut down further but I need to have something to hold on to. So I'm going to take the flowers and bundle them together and I'm going to use one of these smaller zip ties and a pipe cleaner and I just kind of fold my pipe cleaner in half and I'm going to take my flowers and bundle them together we're going to stick the pipe cleaner on there up against the stems and then we are going to wrap the zip tie around it. You're going the wrong way with your tie, Mom. There we I go. I sure am. And I do have to correct myself. I did say that we were going to show you how to adhere these to the work form. We're not adhering. We're attaching. We're not using glue. So forgive me for not saying that correctly. Okay, so now that you've created this bundle, we're going to take the wire cutters and snip off really closely the end of the zip tie and the stems so that there's only about a quarter of an inch of stem showing. Can you show them the underside? And we're going to cut this tail off the zip tie really close to the, the base where it locks. There we go. So that is what you're going to end up with. And this is how we are attaching um, everything to the work wreath so far. So, so far we have our ruffled bundles, some of these cute daisies. We have bundles of the carnations back here. We have these really cute little glittered pre-made bows. These come two to a card and they are also from the Dollar Tree. Um, let me show you the, the card that they come on in case you guys go out looking. They are on this and then we also bought the larger decorative bow that we're going to use down at the bottom in the center and that's also Dollar Tree and it comes on, the card looks exactly the same as the card that the the two smaller bows come on so this is how it's looking so far and all we do and this looks super messy on the back but this will all get cut down but what we do is just take it and uh, twist the pipe cleaners onto the wire work form to secure the deco mesh bundles as well as the floral bundles onto this wire work ring where you're seeing these white, um, almost bread tie looking fasteners, those are already on the backs of the bows. So we just went ahead and used those. And like I said, all of this will get cleaned up once we're finished. But because we are winging it, here's one of the smaller bows. And you can see that that's how the back of it looks. So we're just kind of winging it and going along and attaching to make sure that this looks full. We're not going all out like we typically do with our other wreaths because like we said, this is going to be outside. We are going to spray this with some, what's it called mom? I believe it's Never Wet by Rust-Oleum. Never Wet by Rust-Oleum. We'll spray this and what it does is it helps wick away the moisture so if it rains or snows, because even though it's the end of May, We've had snow in July here before, so um, that will protect it from the moisture. And it's also supposed to help protect against sun fading. And one other thing I do wanna mention to you guys at, is as we are creating these bundles, we noticed that the flowers are wanting to pop off of the stems. So we are just adding a little dab of hot glue with one of our trusty hot glue guns 
Um, we're taking the flower off the stem, placing just a dab of hot glue right to the top, and then placing the flower back onto the stem, and that way it will prevent those from coming off. So we are going to continue adding our bundles onto the wreath, and we will come back when we're a little more than halfway around this and show you how things are looking. Okay, you guys, so this is our completed wreath. And um, just to give you a little explanation, we kind of showed you how we were attaching the little ruffle deco mesh poofs onto the wreath, and then how we created the little floral bundles. So we did the same for the carnations and these cute daisies. There were the red and white striped ones, as well as the blue ones with the stars and just some plain white daisies here. So all of the floral bundles were created the same way that we showed you guys earlier in the video. And this isn't a very detailed video. We really weren't even expecting to film this, but we wanted to create something special for my grandfather uh, for Memorial Day to take up to the cemetery. And we thought we might as well go ahead and share with you guys what we were doing. Um, if you would like a more detailed wreath video, leave us a comment in the comment box below and let us know what you'd like to see. Um, I actually have some plans for um, one that I'm gonna be working on for my summer decor at home. So if you guys would like to see that in detail, let us know. Um, but mom and I make wreaths all the time. Throughout the year, we sell tons of them at our vin vintage markets. So um, we can show you, you know, a basic deco mesh wreath. So if you guys want to um, leave what you would like to see in the comments below, we would appreciate it. But we think this turned out pretty great. Um, as I said earlier, we are gonna spray it and weatherproof it a little bit. And this will be something that, you know, we can take and have up for about a week and go pick it up and then use it again down the road. Um, this fun post that it's hanging on, Mom and I actually build these and sell these um, at our vintage markets and other events. They're great to hang signs on on your front porch as well as wreaths. So um, this is just a little something else that we do. But we really hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out. The whole cost for this wreath was under $13 and we actually had so much left over that what we ended up doing is creating these little bouquets with some of the leftover carnations, some of our little deco mesh poofs, and then these cute um, bows. Again, all products from the Dollar Tree. And we were able to create nine of these um, that we are going to place for some of our other family members. So um, we were able to do the wreath and nine of these for under $20. And typically when we take flowers up to the cemetery, we spend, you know, anywhere from about 70 to $80 on flowers. So um, these are things that we can use over again. Fourth and, of July, Labor Day. Yeah, for Fourth of July and Labor Day. And, um, you know, this, we didn't want it to look gaudy or anything, and maybe for some it is, but we wanted something bright that would stand out. You know, when you go to a cemetery, it's basically headstones and a lot of green grass. So we just wanted something pretty and um, cheery. We wanted to create something that we thought my grandfather would like. And I do think that he'll enjoy this. So we hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel and you'd like to follow along on our creative journey, um, please consider hitting that uh, red subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified each time we upload a new video. And um, you can also follow us on our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram. We are Queen Bees Vintage 
on those pages as well. So we hope you'll join us over there too. So until next time, guys, we hope you all have a wonderful and safe Memorial Day weekend. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.